Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow to the board Bob Belt Theme Parks and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we're going to be looking at Europa Park sharing more details, official details on Etrenalin. Now we spoke about this about a month or two ago and it was the a first announcement of this and sort of predicting Ooh, what could it be, what could it be, what kind of concept of a restaurant it could be. Well, we got the details over the last few days and we can now compile my thoughts on these details now before we get started with all of that make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss another youtube video as well as look checking out the link to the article with the news in, in the description down below you can also check out links for twitter tiktok instagram and snapchat your video ideas where you can send them in google forms and the discord server where you yes you the course shell fan base can be a part of the channel the channel nation and interact with fellow coaster shell fans uh, and also guys it's very important you keep subscribing to the channel we're aiming to hit 4,000 subscribers and 1 million views this year by the end of 2021 so please 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 get in there get involved and for now guys let's have a look at the details on etrenaline at europa park so according to this article from Loopings, uh, Europa Park is developing the restaurant of the future. The hypermodern restaurant complex is being built near the South Germany amusement park where food becomes an attraction, Etrenaline. Multimedia effects are combined with transport systems from the house supplier Mac Rides. Now Thomas Mac came on board and said of an innovative gastronomic concept. Uh, saying thanks to the advanced combination of gastronomy, media and moving seating, a completely new interactive and informative dining experience is created. Globally, there is nothing like this yet. Now, the builder Matt Rides for Etrenalin, the amusement park, works together with catering company Marche International. Um, after experiencing the fantastic flying theatre Volatarium, I thought, can such an emotional experience be combined with gastronomy? We want to take the guests on a journey that stimulates all of their senses. This came from Marsh's director, Oliver Altair. Now, the new book about Europa Park, which came out this month, contained the first details of Adrenaline and the first designs. The restaurant teleports guests to a place they've ne always wanted to go, but never been able to go. This is from the book. Now, the first branch of the futuristic restaurant located between Europa Park and Rulantica is expected to open next autumn. After that, the brand must be rolled out worldwide with offices in world cities such as New York and Tokyo. Now, from these diagrams already flying about on your screen, you can tell this is going to be a wonderful eating experience. And I think if you're a fan of food and a fan of rides, then you are going to feel like you're in heaven absolute heaven when you come and experience Etrenaline when it opens this year. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, that is the details on Etrenaline. It is a, a ride slash restaurant. It's a combination of restaurant with moving seating and multimedia effects. Oh my god, it's a dark ride restaurant. Alton Towers, look at the Fried Chicken Co and get this in X Sector. Oh my giddy <laughs> Um But to be fair, what you could also do if Alton Towers wanted to get this concept is you could create that, that car park behind Galactica into a space area and have the roller coaster restaurant and the e-trenaline as a restaurant. And maybe you could use that, if they're not going to put a coaster behind Galactica in the car park, maybe use that space to build a big e-trenaline. Uh, in between the theme park, the back of the theme park where Forbidden Valley is, and the hotels. So, I mean, there's a few parts that could benefit from this concept, but I think Europa Park being the first one, in my opinion, was necessary. Um, I think that overall, Europa Park really benefiting from this. It's a great concept. Uh, Marsh, that are working with Matt Rides on this, uh, have done really, really well. The concepts, as you saw on your screen earlier, were beautiful. Uh, nice facade to the restaurant. Brilliant design, moving, oh my god, it, just thinking about it just makes me think, wow, what an innovative business we are in. Theme parks, attractions, and uh, gastronomy in theme parks and attractions. What an innovative business we are in. Uh, now, obviously, you know, this is going to be opening, you know, towards the end of 2021, so it's towards the last few months of 2021. So, overall, it's going to be a long way till the end of 2021. Um, but hopefully it will go quick with the joy that COVID will be gone from our lives in a few months time. But 
Um, Europa definitely, in my opinion, just absolutely blew this concept out of the water. I was expecting a great concept with the Adrenaline. I know Matt Wright, I know Europa Park. I know when they come together with someone, they create an innovative concept. We saw that with the Food Loop, which became Alton Towers Roller Coaster Restaurant, as well as the Food Loop in Europa Park, um, which was which which was before the Roller Coaster Restaurant. Um, and I think overall, it's just amazing. I mean, imagine having that adrenaline style concept where the Mutiny Bay Courtyard is, or behind Galactica in the car park as like a gateway in between the hotels and the theme park. Imagine what they could do with this. So, overall, adrenaline is such a worldwide recognized concept. And I'm a massive fan of this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm a massive fan of this. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for this theme park news update on adrenaline at Europa Park. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, my name is Coast Shell, Caitlin the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an eat adrenaline day. <laughs>